adjoining residents in the Cookville Mill Road area spoke in opposition. Primary concerns were the potential for increased traffic, the potential for Cookville Mill to become a cut through to Walmart, safety at the intersection at Lowry and Freedom Lane without a stop sign, existing narrow roads, reduced house values, and increased activity and speeding. In response to citizen concerns, the applicant said that 35% of development traffic would be new to Fuqua Mill. The price of houses would start at $300,000, $350,000 at the market rate. We feel that there are a number of reasons this makes sense. Bank of James took this property on default of a loan from the parent of the previous owner. It's been for sale for a period of well over 15 years and is not sold. We feel like that's due to the current zoning, especially as it's currently in two different zones. The narrowness of the current M1 strip is not wide enough to accommodate most manufacturing uses. We have planned a new road system to provide connectivity from Old Dominion Boulevard to Duke Mill Road. We've done so with four stop turns to calm traffic and discourage through traffic. Our traffic engineers that estimate that 65% of the traffic will utilize Independence Drive, Independence Boulevard, and 35% will utilize Duke Mill Road. Our project will generate around 1,250 trips per day. My house, okay, that's a narrow road. And it would throw the park in on us. It will do fly better road now. Roads don't fly. <laughs> we had no trouble now at uh, Freedom Lane and uh, Larry Street. We'll crash there. What's gonna happen there? That's another thing. And trees in the town is too low. It's a whole lot of things. It goes against this whole thing. And we do not want it in our neighborhood. Clear from council here that we are not looking to remove or eliminate the M1 district. We need them there with this growth we're seeing. Hopefully, we'll get a business industry, something coming in here to put these people to work and keep them here rather than going to Lynchburg. Oh, that's good. That, that, was, that was the biggest heartburn for me uh, at the beginning was uh, the fact that we might be giving up some business development land, uh, some manufacturing. Going out there and actually spending a good bit of time and, and kind of looking around at that. Yeah. This land is so narrow and the slopes. I mean, if you haven't been out there, there's a ravine that's probably um, 30, 40 feet deep uh, or more with a stream running down in it. So it just, it, it, it just wasn't conducive for that type of development. We need residential development. Um, as someone that's lived in this community, it's always been my whole life. Um, I can remember the last subdivision that was developed with single family home only was probably Governor's Hill back in the 1990s. Um, you know, 30 years is, is long enough to kind of wait for some, some new residential growth. Um, this is a, a well-designed project. Uh, there is some, some concern. This project develops out. We, we need to consider you know, a capital project to, to do some improvements on Lowry Street. To, to serve our citizens as well and try to, to manage our resources and keep our taxes as low as possible. We have to have some growth. We have to. Um, communities that aren't growing are dying. And um, so I'm, I'm going to support this project um, because of uh, the ability to expand our tax base, the ability to get um, you know, 125 new houses here that will feed our school system. Um, you know, I don't know. Liberty High School's got under 700 students now. When I was growing up here, it's 1,200. So you know, if we don't, if we don't help ourselves um, get some growth, no one else is going to help us. There's no way to make everybody happy, but there's no question that this is in the best interest of the entire town. I understand the concerns. I don't. I do. Now we do have the, the, the capacity to work to do capital improvement projects for the road. I anticipate we're going to do that. I think we've been very responsive as a town resident. Um, but it's just, it's exactly what we need. I mean, as far as semi-affordable um, residential housing, we need it desperately.